on everyone. Hope everybody's fitting well, no illness injuries, all raring to go. We've got some lovely views of the gardens again this morning. So a bit of nice sunshine for us. So standing tall, setting those feet nicely under your hips. Tummies drawn in, shoulders back, nice and tall arms down at your sides. And let's just have that little wake up. Waking up those senses. So we're leaning it forward so you catch the weight on your toes. Back to just before you think you're gonna fall. Take that step if we go too far. So remember, it's not about going up onto your toes. Your toes are just stopping you falling forwards. That's it, just a couple more. So we always start just setting our bodies up, getting ready to go. That's it. So standing tall now. One hand in front behind or on your hips, so we're just going to tilt that pelvis under. A little squeeze of the tummy as we come under. And then the arch in the bottom of the spine. Just loosening up your lower back. Helping to find that nice neutral spine. So remember, it's just rocking that pelvis under and back. Not wiggling the bum forwards and back. That's it. Tilting under, then back. A few more times. Just getting ourselves set up, finding that nice neutral posture. One more. And standing tall, should be nicely balanced, should feel you've got a nice neutral spine. And we get those feet moving. That's it. Easing out with all those bones in the feet the legs moving, arms joining in in that walking movement, so from the shoulder, just a gentle swing in time with the legs, that's it, pushing that foot into the ground, good, arms are just starting to increase, Raising them up to shoulder height. That's it. And a little bit more. So just gradually increase that range of movement. That's it. Pull it all the way up. Really reaching up and back. Really good stretch, opening that chest out. Two more. That's it. One more. And bringing that down. Good. Checking those feet are still nicely under your hips. They're still stood nice and tall. Going to reach down to the side. One side, then the other. Keeping ourselves tall so we're not leaning forwards or back. So just reaching down, pressing down towards the ground. Reach down, and then we're going to start taking that a little wider. Pressing down and reaching out. That's good. Nice reach out now. So we're taking it out. Still keeping that body straight. So we're not leaning forwards or back. And if you start to let your eyes follow your hand. So we look into that hand. Reach it wide. And we're going to start to start reaching over that shoulder. That's it. Reach up and wide. Rotate those arms.
really open out, look in at your hand. That's it. One more. And bringing that down. Okay, bringing those arms up, slight bend in the elbow, rotate the shoulders, keep your head forwards to begin with. So we're just rotating those that upper back and those shoulders, head and hips forwards. Good. And then we can let the head follow the hands. So we're turning a little bit further round. And release your heel. So we're looking all the way behind. A few more. Do one more each way. And we're bringing that back to centre. Okay, take your stance just a little bit wider, about shoulder width or fractionally more. Hands onto your hips, we're just going to circle those hips around. The aim is to keep your head still and the hips rotate underneath. Oh, looks like Elaine's having umbrella problems. That's it, rotating around. And change direction, swinging that through. There we go. Keeping those hips circling around, nice big wide circle. Head stays as still as we can. Good, a couple more. And bringing that back to centre. Just standing tall, you take the weight onto one leg, just lift your foot slightly forwards and rotate your ankle. So we're balancing on one leg, just rotating that ankle around. And then change direction with that foot. Change legs. So picking that foot up, rotate the ankle. And change direction. Nice little circles around, just loosening it out. But we're working on the balance at the same time. One more, and bringing that down. Okay, staying on one leg, we're just going to sweep that leg through, nice and gently, forwards and back. Also keeping ourselves standing as tall as we can. Keeping that tummy drawn in. That's it, a few more. Good, one more. And 
Bring it down, change sides, switch over, sweep the knot leg through. Last it stay as tall and still as we can. Let corn engage to stop us swinging, stop us falling. Excellent, a few more. to the other leg, standing tall again, just going to draw that circle around your standing leg, so the leg rotates around, so aiming to keep as tall and still as we can, just that leg moving, Tracing that circle on the floor or just off it. Good, one more. And change sides. So reset yourself. And then bring that, step that leg around your standing foot. That's good, well done. A few more times. So feet back under those hips. So for those that did hit yesterday, we're into your squats now, get your legs moving again. So we're dropping that down, bringing it up. Keeping that head up, looking forwards. That's it, slowing down as far as you feel comfortable. Aim it for 90 degrees, but if it's a bit less, not a problem where you can. Don't worry too much about your arms, just let them go where it's natural. Mine come up in front, but if yours go somewhere else, don't worry. That's it. and steady, just squatting down, bringing it back up, using those quads and the bum to lift us back up, good, two more, and bring that up, excellent, okay, taking those feet wider, and just angling those feet out about 45 degrees, going into that plie squat, so we're just going to bring that down, and a real squeeze of the bum as we come back up. So we're going to do a few, then we're just going to change this one up slightly. That's good. A few more. Still keeping that head up, looking forwards. That's it. One more. And bring it out. So we're keeping those feet wide, sticking with the plie squat, but this time as we come up, we're going to raise one knee, bring the opposite elbow in. So we're going to squat, bring it up. Squat, bring it up. That's it. 
شخصه So if you do find any of the progressions difficult at any time, stick with the basic movement. Try and keep it nice and controlled. Then we to be standing in between. down so we're standing tall hands high bringing it down roll down unroll back up that's it slowly unroll you do need to soften your knees as you come down absolutely fine you can soften those knees and bring it up i've got to keep the legs straight get a really thorough stretch on the postural chain so hamstrings glutes lower back excellent a few more So this time we're going to take it down, we're going to put hands on the mat, walk it out, out into that plank. We'll go down, walk it out, drop to your knees if you need. We're going to hold. That's it, hold it there, keep him breathing. seconds if we can. That's uh, so it, we start to shake here. A few more seconds. Three, two, one. Down to those knees, sitting back on your heels. Really nice stretch. Okay, so we're starting down on our fronts. So I want you to lay face down on the floor with your elbows up at that shoulder height at 90 degrees. So forearms down on the floor. We're gonna start with your torso raise. So we're just gonna raise our chest off the floor, arms staying in contact with the ground to begin with. So let's lay it face down. Getting those elbows up near shoulder height. Just gonna raise and back down. We press our hips into the ground as we raise up. Good, just using that back to lift us. Arms are just there to guide. A few more. Then we're gonna extend. So next one, if we want, we're gonna raise Extend those arms, having that longer stretch. Back down. And keep going. Now, 
Brown said, good. Three more. So we'll do two more. One more time. And relax that down. Okay, staying laid down on the floor, keeping legs extended behind, arms extended forwards. We're gonna go into your swim movement. So we're laying flat, arms are forwards, we're going to start with that little doggy paddle, arm flutter, and then we'll move on to the leg. So let's lay that back down, nice and long, arms forwards, hips down, feet down, and off we go with the arms. Remember to keep breathing. Just a small movement. And I'll say a few more. Couple more. And rest that down, resting those arms down, raise the feet off the ground, and a little flutter kick up and down with those feet. Nice long straight legs. That's it, good, keep going. So that movement starts in the bum, long straight legs. A few more. And let's rest that down. Back to your arms. So just raise those arms off the ground. And let's paddle those hands up and down. A few more. And rest the arms down. Back to your legs. Raising those legs just off the ground. Flutter kick those feet. Few more times. Good. And let's rest that down. So we're going to put the two together now. Arms extended, legs behind. Raise up. And let's paddle those arms and legs. Good, keep that going. Keep breathing. A few more. And let's rest that down, well done. Okay, bringing yourself up into that kneeling position. I'm gonna go into that kneeling box for your Superman movement. So it's hands under shoulders, knees under hips. We're gonna start with your basic Superman. 
and then add a progression as we go. So we extend and change. Keeping that back nice and level. That's good. Be more. Excellent. A few more times. Good. One more each side. And bring it down. Okay, we're going to go back to that once more. But we're going to add in that elbow to knee underneath. So we'll extend, come together, extend, down and change. So back in position and extend together, extend and change. Still keeping that back level, balancing that tray of drinks on there. That's it. Really good, keeping that going nice and long, together, long and down. Good, a few more. One more each side. Last one. And bringing that down, well done. Okay, moving on to our sides now then. So we're gonna lay on your side, legs extended, hat arm under your head. So lay that down. Legs stacked, hips stacked, and under your head. Hand in front for balance if we need. Raising those feet just off the ground if you can. And a little drawing the waist away from the mat again if you can. Single leg lift. That's it. Nice and steady. Doesn't have to be super high. Just using those muscles around the hip to raise that leg and control it back down. That's it. A few more times. Good, one more. And bring that down. Let's spin ourselves round onto the other side. Same again. Nice and long, nicely extended. Arm under your head, hand for balance if we need. Single leg lift. So we're going to do this exercise twice with adding a progression in next time. So we'll just do a few reps on this side before we change it around. That's it. 
Spin yourselves back or roll over. So we're on to the leg lift again, but this time we're going to add in that knee drop. So we're going to lift, drop the knee in front, lift, back down. So when we're ready, we lift, drop the knee, lift, and down. That's it. Nicely controlled. Just that knee dropping in front, foot stays elevated. Remember, with any of the progressions, if you do find them too difficult, stick with that basic movement. Good, a few more. That's it. Two more. Last one. Up, drop it down. Spin yourselves around. Same on the other side. So we're extended. Hip stacked. Legs extended. Raise that leg. Drop the knee in front. So keep those hips stacked. Try not to let yourself roll forwards. It's quite tempting to do as that knee is dropping down. We need to make sure we keep stacked. That's it, really good. A few more times. Good. Two more. One more. And lower that down. Excellent. So we're going to move on to your scissors exercise now. So back onto the other side. We're scissoring those legs forwards and back. Resting on that hip bone. Arm extended under the head. Put the hand in front for balance, so we're going to pivot on that hip. We just scissor forwards and back. Nicely controlled. Just remember, it's all about controlling the balance. It's not really about working the legs. It's working everything else while the legs are moving. Really good. A few more times. Good, two more. Last one, and change sides. So keeping you moving today, keeping you swapping around. And straight into scissoring those legs. Pivoting on that hip bone. Trying to keep that waist drawn away from the mat. Legs off the ground if we can. But if you do need to rest the bottom leg down, it's absolutely fine. So a nice steady sweep forwards and back. Doesn't need to be a huge movement. Just enough to throw you off balance. That's it. A few more times. Good. Two more. 
last one and bringing that down okay one more exercise on our sides so we're going to go into that open door so we're laid on your side with your knees bent arms out at 90 degrees to the body just a really nice stretch out loosen up so turn the arm up eyes follow your hand reach over bringing it back just a really lovely stretch and open up bring that over and back together that's it good two more Switch sides. So we're laying that down, those knees bent, one hand on top of the other, reach over and back. Also, if you're tight on space and you need to drop that arm lower back or bend the elbow, just do what you can. Nicely open up, eyes follow that hand. That's it, one more. And bring that back together, good. Okay, roll over onto your back now. I want you to stay laid back and we're going to bend your knees and point your hands to the ceiling so we're in a bit of that dead bug type position we're going to start with the leg slide and we're going to drop the opposite hand behind the head so right leg extends left leg be left arm behind the head bring it back and change So you can either slide the foot along the floor or hover just off the ground. So it's just one at a time moves. So it's not a scissor action. It's just nice and steady. So we're going to breathe in as we extend, breathe out as you come back. In and out. So inhale, exhale. Good, few more. Good, one more each leg. And bring that back. Keeping the back and the arms where they are, bring those feet up to tabletop. So we're going to go into your toe tap, so we're just tapping one toe onto the floor, but we're going to do a double arm drop. So one leg, both arms. Again, breathe in as we extend, breathe out as you come back.
set a few more times. Right, so one more each leg. And bringing that in. Okay, just a couple more to go. We're nearly there. Time's flown by again. So knees back to tabletop. Hands down on the floor in a slight V shape. We're going to drop those knees one side and then we're up over the other side. When that shoulder starts to lift, that's when we bring it back and over the other way. So keep going, a few more. Good, one more each way. And bring that back in. Feet onto the floor, heels fairly close to the backside, arms down on the ground. We're just gonna take that up into that bridge. Pushing those heels into the ground, pushing the bum up, and then letting that back curl back onto the ground, pelvis rocks back, tilt under, heel up. This is our last one. I think we've got a couple of minutes over today, so if anyone does need to disappear, if you've got meetings or anything, don't worry, head off as soon as you need. Just remember to do a little stretch out when you get a chance. There we go. Just a few more. We'll do two more. Squeeze up. And on this last one, we're going to take it up. Hands up. And we're going to hold, keep it there. That's it for three, two, one, and roll that down. Slowly come up to sitting. Then we're going to bring that up to standing. So we're standing nice and tall. Let's take one foot back. So bend that front knee, back leg straight, make sure that heel is straight so feet are parallel. Chest forward and hands together, reach out. And change legs, opposite leg goes back. Bend that front knee, back leg straight. Then hands in the small of the back or reaching behind. That's good. Bring that back in, standing tall, feet under hips, reach high above your head, and then down towards the ground. Reaching for those toes. Then bend your knees, but we're going to arch that back up high. Really arching that back. Stretching all the way through your back. And slowly unroll back up. Standing tall, pick one foot up. Knees together, hips forwards. Remember, if you do need help with the balance, feel free to use a bit of furniture. That's it. Change legs. So we're still standing nice and tall. That's it. 
nice there. Foot down, feet nice and wide. Last one, let's just sweep that through. Reaching for the sky, last time. This will take us up onto those toes. A little balance to finish. Strong ankles for three, two, one, and relax there. Well done, thank you.